So I received an interesting question via email the other day, which was sent to me. It was in relation to an ICOM 9700 problem with the microphone, and I thought I'd share a few thoughts on what could possibly be the issue. So the email that I received says, uh, hello, sir, I'm reaching out to you because I watch your video on YouTube to update my firmware and I like your videos and channel. Thank you very much. Uh, I have an IC9700 for over a year and I've never had a conversation. This is embarrassing. I work at home and listen every day. I love ham radio and want to start having conversations. So I found my ICOM SM50 mic, plugged it in and keyed the mic. Then the radio just reboots every time. I tried all new software, firmware, uh, even downloaded it from the ICOM Japan website. You recommend it in your video and it still reboots when I key the mic. I thought my mic was bad, so I bought a Heil Pro 7 IC headset with ICOM adapter splitter and trigger plugged in and the radio did the same thing, reboot. I know this can't be good for the radio. I've checked all of the connections and it is weird that it keeps rebooting. I've searched the web but cannot find a link explaining the issue and how to fix it. I don't know if you respond to such requests such as this and you probably are very busy, but I'd greatly appreciate any help or guidance on how to fix my radio. Thank you very much for your email. I have a couple of ideas for what the problem with the ICOM 9700 might be. The first thing I would do is check the power connections on your power line, so your power cable, to make sure that there's no... Uh, issues with any dry joints, any dry solder joints, any high impedance joints that are happening. So uh, also check the fuses as well because what can happen is is that when your radio transmits, it's pulling, depending on how much power you're running, it can be drawing a lot of current through the cable. If for some reason that those connections are dirty, maybe you've got a bad, um, yeah, bad dry solder joint, something like that, then the connections can heat up, the voltage then sags and the radio switches itself off because the, the voltage is too low. That would be one thing that I would check. The next thing that I would also check is your power supply. Make sure that it is rated with the IC7300 at least for 20 amps minimum. Otherwise, if you're transmitting 100 watts full power, your radio could just switch off when you go to transmit. Um, even with single sideband, you could go to transmit on a voice peak. It's trying to pull all of that current. If your power supply cannot deliver that uh, power continuously, then your radio will switch off. A good way to test if that might possibly be the issue is turn your power down all the way to 1% and then slowly turn the power up until the radio does reboot. And then you can eliminate whether it's the microphone that's actually the problem or not. Uh, another way also to eliminate if it is the microphone is to put the radio into RTTY or RIDI mode. And then that way it will transmit a constant carrier, a constant current draw, and then you can again, step up the power from 1% and see how long it takes before the radio uh, drops off. Another thing that you can also do is, is plug in a multimeter into the power supply and just have a look at the voltage. So re most power supplies are regulated voltage power supplies, which means that the power, uh, the voltage coming out of the power supply stays the same no matter how much current is being drawn. But if it's an unregulated power supply that you've got or it's a power supply that um, cannot deliver the continuous current capabilities of the radio, then what will happen is you'll see that voltage sag. And if it gets below, I'm not sure what the dropout voltage is for the 7300, maybe around 11 or 10 volts, then the radio will switch itself off. The only other thing would be a full reboot of the 9700. Uh, you can find that in the manual. Do a full reset. Uh, see if that fixes the issue. If it doesn't, then I would recommend sending it back to ICOM and say that the radio is potentially faulty and then they can have a look at that. I've done quite a few videos on the IC9700 before. If you want to check those out, then there is a link to a playlist that has them all over there. So check them out, 73 from Hayden.